either hand. But a notoriously slow starter. Not concerned about in the second half of the fight with hopes for late fight drama. It's probably usually slim. How critical is it for Durrell to put rounds in the vault early to really let his hand... Abraham, from my experience in calling his fights, does not like infighting. He usually stays outside in that high... Not running, he's boxing, and he's right in front of Abraham. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing about this though is we've seen this we've seen this movie before. Left cheekbone of Abraham, courtesy of a very through. Not that big a deal, but it shows at least he was able to get something in early against Abraham. Against that final seconds of the opening round. Seen Abraham throw a power punch yet? And he popped him with just now. But I will say, uh, fellas, <laughs> I saw the same thing by a wide left hook. He also has a very good jab. He's a better skilled fighter, uh, is Abraham, than a lot of people think. Return. They're looking very impressive. And a lot of those body punches blocked and head punches blocked by Abraham. It's a good sign. Right there. And that was to the body. He is much more effective when he throws punches and bunches. There's a long right hand that sent and stiff jab. And finally, Abraham lets loose. When Abraham starts coming forward, that's when he means business. But a good combination. And uh, the mother of Andre Durrell, Lola Durrell on hand, cheering on her son. Tommy Hearns involved in the biggest fight here at Joe Louis Arena, August 2nd, 1980. He KO'd Pepito Cuevas in the second to win the welterweight belt. Very good start. He's 18 and one with 13 knockouts. Abraham 31 and 0 with 25 knockouts. And that's a little bit uncharacteristic. Durrell getting through. He's punching through that guard. Being hit when he switches. See, there's such a long period here between Abraham punches. He can switch up to really hurt him. Still has two titanium plates in his jaw. So he literally has a steel jaw. They figure by around four or five unloading a couple of punches but not many Turned up on both eyes and Durrell is fighting a beautiful fight let's see can uh, Durrell take it when it's when it's time it's, it's his time something great too in this fight oh my there's the big right hand much more aggression from Abraham oh. big right hand another right another right a left hook fist and a left uppercut got him Around another right hand would come from Abraham Durrell did not motor Horton right hand. It came here in this round three. That was a good one. And Andre Durrell to his crest pull out with his hands up. Oh, step aside. Don't pull, pull, don't pull straight back. A big bounce back round, last round for Arthur Abraham, particularly to Durrell with a couple of big right hands. His hands up. Keep your hands up at all times. A lot of that swelling on Abraham. A couple rounds, Durrell countered him very effectively. Even though there's no clean shots landing, don't give up on your jab. It's good. I still like to see his hands up a little bit, though, because you never know when Abraham is going to shoot one of those wide punches. So many punches against Carl Frotch. He would have won that decision by a lot. Stop. Keep throwing. Now the right hand by, hook by Abraham. Abraham. Oh, oh, unbelievable. This is the first time he's ever been on the canvas. Well, I mentioned earlier that the corner work that they had seen this before. They've never seen him down. And it seemed as if right. they were panicking a little bit over in the corner. Fuck. And Darrell has to be careful. He's look out now. He certainly has won four oh. of the first four rounds. Big right hand by Abraham. Back comes Darrell. That was a great exchange. Darrell hand landed the harder punch with the hook. And he continues to fire away, pouring it on. But they look good in the, in the yeah, judge's eyes. The judge. Busy, you know. Exactly. <laughs> which is out. Yeah. And right now, Durrell is uh, well in command. He's got what is shaping up as a 
Andre Ward, an interested uh, spectator on a little scouting mission, too, because eventually he's going to get in there with his former Olympic teammate, Andre Durrell. It has been a good one. Low blow there by Durrell. You push it. Lawrence right. Cole wanted to retaliate with some uh, rabbit punching. It's going to be interesting to see now if uh, Abraham becomes ugly and rough. For us through round five, and that gives you such a graphic idea. 153 landed on left hooks. And there's another grimace by, yeah, that was borderline, but it was a grimace by uh, Abraham. We all worried that this might be the Andre Durrell track meet. Well, it hasn't been, but in a victory because he's getting close to a situation where just not punching. He's doing something. So do that a lot. You've done a lot of NBA, Steve, and you know the guys that are going to look for fouls. <laughs> right. Those combinations are beautiful. They're racking up points. And uh, I'm How will I get tired Do the uppercut. Do the How uppercut. You, you throw too many ball punches. Ball. Remain straight. Keep straight. Come on, Arthur. Green, a newcomer to the tournament who replaced uh, Jermaine Taylor, who withdrew. He's going to fight on June 19th against Andre Ward. And man, is he pumped for that one. Stop! Stop! Little slippage. Down. That means if Fresh Row is correct, he knew he would probably do well in those early rounds. Two rounds like yeah. this, Abraham would definitely have to have a knockout to win. This one's flying by. Out of his right eye. Have to get a closer look. And it landed beautifully and flush. And it was right in the middle of a switch. Kellen punch. You would think Abraham's going to, but this fight's taking look on out. the same twins. You know yeah, what? You know what? That punch landed behind Darrell's head. I think he was hurt. And he doesn't cut. A lot of blood around the right eye of Arthur Abraham, but broken jaw, so this isn't going to bother him. That's going to be a... No, not a knockdown. Not a knockdown. Dylan started with a left hook, started with a straight right. Left uppercut, straight right. Come on. Otherwise, we don't have a chance anymore. No, he's put into a, in a difficult position here on many levels, Abraham. The cut looks to be on the right eyebrow of a desperate Arthur Abraham. Opens up. The rail is punching, and he's beating him to the punch sometimes. Yeah, it's a good point. A really good oh, point, Antonio. Big right hand, a counter right by Durrell. In this tournament, and tonight, he's doing it. And now he's also showing power, too, tonight. Abraham had him against those ropes. Did he land it? He's trying to show bravado by doing this and see if it's it works. Mis it's a mistake. If you have to win this fight ugly, by all means, win it. Now, to his credit, Durrell was able to escape stop, stop, disaster stop. in Detroit. One of the keys to victory that I put was Arthur Abraham has never lost a pro fight, and in fact, has never really been that close to losing a, a pro fight. Andre Durrell is punch and then nothing else. That's it. And, uh, you know, he's not a combination puncher tonight. Uh, tonight, the jab has been null and void. Yeah, you're absent too much, which is smart. Nice combinations to the body by Andre Durrell, and again, now a left hook. He's in the righty uh, position. First Abraham Miranda fight back in 2006. Abraham faces a blade mess right now. Oh, he popped him! A straight left counter punch, but the ringside doctor and the referee. Minute to go in round nine. Now Abraham, out. Abraham stopped. Abraham stopped. And let's see if Durrell can... And remember, Abraham's a powerful man, so don't count him out of this fight. Oh, no question about that. There is a straight right hand, but there wasn't a lock behind it. Uh, one of their other fighters in the clash of... I mean, the referee didn't call it. And then Abraham, normally when you get hit with a headbutt, you grab that ice. So I don't know. It's so not he decisive. Didn't complain. He didn't complain. That point in the fight. Look out! It's not a knockdown. Not a knockdown. Lawrence Cole did not rule it a knockdown. Yeah, I don't get that. And the drill is a little stunned right now. Maybe, maybe he's right. 
Well, no, we see the replay, but it, right now Durrell's got some problems. I think it was a combination of things. I'll say. <laughs> was it an oh, or not? Abraham's showing some powerful punches. We could feel a very tenacious oh. straight right hand by Abraham. He lost the point for holding in the frost fight late in the fight. He slips oh, again. Oh, that was a foul. Down. That's a foul, and if he's knocked out, Abraham should be disqualified. Andre Durrell slips on that. Now, he actually was a, a slip and a punch. Now, he's completely down, and, is, and, and he is nailed by Arthur Abraham. He is knocked out. He's trembling. He's, he's, he's out cold. I'm getting the doctor up here. Oh, he's in bad shape. He's the doctor. He doctor. Abraham should be disqualified. Yes. He is knocked out cold. Abraham's disqualified. He's disqualified. The referee just said he is disqualified. It was on one knee. His eyes were closed before he hit the canvas. Yes. Let's get it up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. We have the time of 1 minute 13 seconds into round number 11. A referee in charge, Lawrence Cole, stops the contest due to an intentional foul. He is the winner by way of disqualification. The Matrix, Andre Durrell.